I ended up being a um, chief aide to our ambassador to West Germany and seeing high politics up very close and becoming disillusioned of that conviction about that, 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 that this was the realm where the truly interesting questions were being asked. And I ended up studying theology coming out of that, went, going to divinity school, because I, it was very surprising to me that that's the turn it took, but that's the turn it took. And so I went to divinity school. I got an MDiv. And I came out in the mid-90s, and it was the era of, um, you know, where you basically had Jerry Falwell and Pat Robertson speaking for all, not just all Christians, but all religious people, and my fellow journalists happily giving them the microphone because they made for great sound bites. Sure. And I just felt like there was this huge vacuum where we, where we weren't able in public to speak about this, not just about religion, but this entire aspect of ourselves. And um, so that was the idea for, for, for this show. And initially it was called Speaking of Faith. I remember. And religion was in the headlines a lot in those days. It was the pre-9-11 pre years and then in a different way after 9-11. And then I feel like the show has kind of, I mean, I feel like our cultural encounter with religion and spirituality and these questions has been very, has evolved very rapidly in these years. And I, I, I like to think that the show has evolved along with them. Thank you for watching Faith in Focus. You can find more videos like this on our YouTube channel and subscribe so you never miss an episode. To learn more about how you can have your story featured on the show, visit americamag.org slash faithshow.